Hey, what's up everybody? This is Muth24, and today I'm going to be starting a new, relatively short series of reviews on these Marvel Legends figures. Uh, I hadn't planned on getting these, actually, until just recently, uh, when I realized I had nothing to really decorate my workspace. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and pick up a handful of them, just as something there, uh, something that I wouldn't mind kind of leaving uh, at my desk. You know, I didn't want to bring something more expensive like my Gundams or my JoJo's figures or any of that stuff. Um, so I went ahead and picked up a few of these, and they were all kind of on sale, and that was nice. Um, just went with a few that I, I was more interested in than others. So if anyone's ex kind of hoping that I'm going to do uh, in-depth reviews of a bunch of these down the road, or get the whole build-a-figure sets, that's just not going to happen. These are just a few that I thought looked cool, are characters that I enjoy in both the comics and the movieverse. Um, so I think the first one I'm going to do a review of here is actually the Carol Danvers Captain Marvel figure, because it's actually the one that kind of caught my eye first out of the bunch. And uh, look at the box here. I think there's... Um, some really nice paint details on the uh, figure itself. Uh, I really dig Carol Danvers' Captain Marvel costume in general. Uh, I do have the alternate head there for the mask being on and the mohawk sticking up through there, which is pretty cool. Uh, the box is really nice. Got Scarlet Witch on the other side because this particular set is the Maidens of Might set, and then there's Carol on that side there. Uh, then you have, again, Scarlet Witch and uh, Captain Marvel. Um, this one is building the Allfather, and we have um, Iron Fist, uh, Avenging Allies uh, for Sentinel, and uh, I forget the other one's name, uh, Hawkeye, Thor, Captain Marvel, and Charlotte Witch. Those are all the ones in this set, and they all come with different pieces to build uh, the Allfather. So that's kind of cool. Um, if you are into getting these build -the figures or what have you, you get the Axe... Um, the head and the cape, and then I believe that pink sort of plasma bit is for uh, Captain Marvel herself as sort of like an energy fist, because I don't see it displayed anywhere on the actual figure for the, uh, the All-Father on the back of the package there. So right out of the box, um, I'll say the paint apps on this particular Captain Marvel figure are not superb. They're still decent, but uh, I've actually seen another one of this exact same figure in a different store. I just happened to grab this one because I was there at the time, um, where the paint apps were not quite as shiny, and I don't know if this was just sort of a, um unfortunate uh, pick. I mean, like, it doesn't look terrible by any means, but it just it doesn't look quite as good as the other one that I saw. Um, the face is really glossy, which is kind of weird. Um, all the other ones of the Marvel Legends uh, figures that I've seen have more of like a dull just sort of flat tone face. Um, that said, I think the hair looks really good. It's got sort of an action flow to it there. Um, the joints are pretty stiff on this, and I don't know if that's sort of a, uh, a signature thing with these Marvel Legends figures, or if it's just because of the, the paint itself. It does look kind of thick on some of the navy parts, or maybe it's just a different paint type uh, that they use for the, the navy portions. Um, you do get a little bit of... Um, sway side to side there at the thighs. Um, <clears throat> you get a pretty typical double joint at the leg. Um, like I said, they are kind of stiff, so it takes a little bit to get them to go, but you do get a decent uh, like 180 bend there. Uh, the feet don't really move a whole lot, uh, as far as I can tell, unless they're, again, just really stiff joints. I'm kind of hesitant to like push anything too hard on this figure, because um, I don't want anything to pop out, but um, the joints right underneath the shoulders there, they spin around just fine. Uh, you do get sort of like a click clack noise as you move this upper torso joint around uh, and then you can rotate the thighs as well um not like superb pose but it's not as good as like the jojo's figures or even like my figma samus but it's halfway decent for the you know this being a relatively inexpensive figure and the sash just sort of hangs there uh rather loose as far as the accessories go um like i showed them off in the box the other head with the helmet uh, fully out there. Um, you can see that there's some ridges there. They're not very prominently displayed. I kind of wish they had gone ahead and like put some lining in there just to make them stand out more, but I think that the uh, the visor, the eyes there look really cool and sort of this smirk as well as like sort of an intense uh, grin there, if you will. That's pretty cool. Uh, the mohawk looks nice. And then you get this little energy bit uh, for her fist that pretty simply just slides over uh, one hand to give sort of this dynamic plasma punch look. And then for the Allfather stuff, uh, the cape, pretty simple. Uh, got some nice folds there, but uh, not a whole lot of in the way of paint apps there. Just silver on the little uh, 
buckles there. Uh, the head, again, looks decent. Nothing spectacular per se, but the beard looks all right. The hair looks all right. Uh, and then the axe is probably the most exciting part of, of that uh, side of things, the Build-A-Figure side of things. Uh, nice shiny little metal there. Got some sort of wear along the blade. And uh, then you got some straps along the handle there. Uh, just for the sake of swapping them out, I will show what the other head looks like. As it's probably the one that I'm going to keep on the figure. Um, just because that shiny face does throw me off. Uh, I think that looks a lot better than the... Um, than the standard face. Uh, like I said, this is not sort of the typical paint style that I've seen with the other figure uh, in stores. I mean, it's the exact same figure, it's just the paint was a little bit different on uh, in terms of the, the quality and the, the glossiness to it. Um, so that said, I think if you're looking for an inexpensive, you know, a Captain Marvel figure, and to my knowledge, it's like one of the few of them out there, uh, I think this is a pretty good deal for, you know, what you're getting, uh, what you're paying and all that. Uh, that said, uh, the pose abilities, Pretty solid. The joints are a little stiff, uh, more so than I would like. And for kids looking at getting this, I can see how they might uh, inadvertently break something uh, just trying to move those joints. Um, but as a whole, for me, as like an adult collector, um, I think this is a solid, solid product. It's it's uh, definitely a lot more exciting than some of the figures that I had growing up. Um, a lot of times, the figures when when I was younger, they'd either be super detailed, but you couldn't move them worth a darn. Or they'd be super poseable, but they don't look anything like the source material. So um, I think it's it's kind of cool that action figures have come uh, a lot further than they were when I was younger. So that's pretty much it for this review, and with that, I will see you guys next time.